So I'm gonna do a bunch of painting today. I'm just gonna start painting all these up. They're probably all gonna be lipless crankbaits. I really would like to do a lipped crankbait, but this sinks hard because it's that solid plastic that just sinks. Even when there's no weight, it just sinks. Uh, I'd really like to start trying to figure out how to make these hollow so they float. Um, then I can start doing these guys a little more reliably. But I'm gonna paint all these up different colors, some metallic green, some silver, I'll maybe make one kind of a pink. I, I'm not sure yet. I'll just, whatever comes to mind as I'm doing it. Important thing here is this one works really well. It swims really nice. So I gotta make sure that I get that line tie in exactly the same place so they swim the same. So I grabbed a large array of different colors. Just kind of see what I can come up with. I think I want to make one of these guys a bluegill for sure. Do some uh, the, the green, try and do the stripes and um, nice little, little orange belly. Um, I know I'm going to do one that's going to be primarily silver. And I'm going to do one that's primarily metallic green. And maybe I'll get crazy with some sort of chartreuse hot pink thing. I'm doing this as a base coat because I'm going to now put silver scales on top of this with the uh, screen mesh. And they will show very vibrantly with a black background, black lines between them. Not bad. I obviously missed up here where the clips were, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to be hitting that with black again, right over the top. Actually, I'm probably going to mix a little bit of black into my silver. Still got some silver left. Put a little bit of black in that. Mix her up.
Go ahead and get rid of the scales on the gills now. Just gonna hit that with some silver straight, some straight silver. Now, I'm just contemplating whether I should just leave it like this or add a little bit of color to it, maybe a little bit of pink in the cheeks. Something like that, just something, just something a little different. Okay. So my daughter agrees I should give rosy cheeks to this little guy. What do you think? Should I put rosy cheeks right here or on the back part here? What do you think? Right on the back part? Mm -hmm. You had to make it difficult. <laughs> That's hard to do. Because now I gotta have two cutouts. I put one here so I don't accidentally hit the scales. Kind of bend it so it shapes. I'm going to put this one here so I don't get it anywhere else. You want to put your fingers here and hold that so it doesn't fly off of there when I blow it with the gun? Thanks. Probably all he needs. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Just a subtle hint of kind of pink there. Where should he have more? What do you think? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's set it so it doesn't wipe and smudge. There you go. Yep. Good job. Hold it right there. Now put this here. A little pink. Not bad. I don't know if this is going to look good, but doing this green and then a dark green for the scales. The trick with doing this is I don't get to see it until the final product because I kind of want to do the stripes right now so that they have a scale pattern as well rather than making solid stripes over the top of my scales. So I cut this out, put this guy down. I'm going to take my green paint that I've got right here and mix maybe a touch of black in it to make it darker. She turned out like. How'd she turn out? Okay, I'm going to put a touch of metallic blue on his gill, for obvious reasons. And I missed, and hit his face. If I can wipe that off. It's wet, I can wipe it off a little. I wanted that face to be kind of dark. It's okay if it's in the eye socket. can't find my paintbrush. Hopefully this works. I just need 
a black ear. Just a tiny dot. It doesn't need to be super crazy or anything. My daughter said, do a golden shiner next. I've tried it before and I, I don't think the golden scales came out. Like I couldn't see them. I tried to do like a light brown, I think, and then um, golden on top of that. And it just blended together too much. I'm gonna try a darker brown and then do the gold scales on top of that and see if that works. Oh. I didn't get the heat gun good enough there. Yeah, there's probably no way I'm going to get that screen mesh on there to line up perfectly with the original scales. My, my screen wasn't tight enough against my bait, so the paint just pulled up underneath there and just made a horrible mess. So here's what I'm going to do to fix that. There are scales in the back half. I'm going to let scales stay on the back half. I'm going to paint the front half solid gold. So, consistently I'll do the same thing on this side. A little different than I was going for, but not bad. Nice and shiny, that's what's really important. Let's put a uh, darker stripe down the back here. detail. I wouldn't mind putting a touch of silver on that gill. I like that. Let's do it again. He's done. Next one. Going super simple on this one. Just metallic green. White belly. Silver gill.
All right, there we go. Basically, I'd say we have bluegill and simpler bluegill. Okay, this one's gonna be primarily red, with like black stripes. I see that often, that's a common pattern. Just a touch of silver in the red. See if this will give it a, a bit of a sheen. Oh, that's red, it's got a touch of reflectiveness to it. going to reuse the similar stripes that I had for the bluegill, but I made I cut them a little bit longer so that uh, I can cover this guy a little better. Get more stripage. Make sure that I get it behind the gill far enough this time. Wish that red were a lot more vibrant. Okay, so I went a little overzealous with the silver on the head there. Okay, I think he's good. A little crazy on the silver, but not bad. That is pink.